You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know, your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all man. So y'all know what it is by now, take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video, definitely help the channel out because you know your boy, gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community. Now we got a few things to talk about of course, and you know your boy gonna always give his opinion. So let's start off with this tweet right here by Cole the man, shout out to him man, he actually tweets out saying, there is no pain defense in 2k22, turn off free player percentage shooting, it bails terrible players out, remove the sniper badge, this game could be great at Baluber. Now, what do y'all think? I know a lot of y'all gonna agree with everything in this tweet, but I got a rebuttal lying on front with y'all. Now, first thing first, I think this game actually got pretty decent paint defense, but a lot of people I play with, I see that just when it comes to execution and anticipation and just staying out of bad positions, they're not that good. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Now, I did drop a tutorial. <laughs> yes, it's a shameless plug. I know what y'all. I did drop a tutorial to help people improve when it comes to interior defense. Y'all make sure check it out. Of course, y'all. Let's click up in that top right. That top right up there. Let's click on it. That tutorial. A lot of people loving the log. A lot of positive feedback. A lot of people telling me to take their game from average to to above average. I'm telling y'all, check it out. I got a lot of tips that could help y'all, but. Not saying it's perfect. It got a lot of stuff that still needs to be addressed, like someone doing six pump fakes or eight pump fakes below this, you know, taking land damn near like six seconds in the key where it's supposed to be a three seconds key. It got a bunch of stuff that still needs to be addressed, but y'all know how it is, man. You still could avoid getting yourself in a lot of these situations. So, yes, the paint defense needs some improvements, but saying there's no paint defense, though, that's a little extreme, my G. Now, the next thing, I didn't know replayer percentage shooting was a thing. Like, recently, I figured this out. I was playing in the wreck. And my teammate kept saying, yeah, he's shooting with real player percentage because I think the feedback it's giving you is different. And I was like, this game, damn near is one of the easiest games to shoot in since 2K20. So that was the last game we could have shot with a 60-something and 70-something three-point rating and still shoot consistently. This game, you could actually do that same thing without even trying. So why are people really using players percentage shooting that's confusing to me man i really didn't know this was a thing until recently and why are people doing I, I guess someone probably put out a video usually it takes a youtuber to put out a video saying this is the wave or this is gonna make your life so much easier that that usually does it but uh, i'm really confused with this real player uh shooting percentage thing and last but not least sniper sniper now I will say this, and this is not me trying to convince y'all to make any changes to how y'all use your badges. But after I did a video, remember I was one of the first people to put a video out there that's saying Sniper is one of the most overrated badges in the 2K community. And I could see why people would overrate it because remember, right? Flexible release was a badge in previous 2Ks that would definitely help you big time when it comes to hitting slightly right all day but sniper i don't think does that as effective as flexible release i stopped using sniper on all my bills i'm talking from bills rated at 77 all the way up to 99 i stop you sniper and y'all could see it on my stream every single day and i'm shooting consistent as hell i'm making the same amount of whites all of that contested shots all of that and i didn't see no huge drop in fact i'm thinking i'm seeing more greens and it might be the placebo effect but you don't need sniper and if they take sniper out the game 
it wouldn't change people hitting whites because I'm hitting hella whites still till this day. And that's something y'all could test out for yourself. Y'all don't have to. I'm not betting no one arms to do any of this. Y'all could use your badges how y'all want, but I'm telling you for me personally, and for a lot of people I play with, don't use sniper anymore. But at the same time, I got some people like, no, I still want to use sniper. I right, use it. Good. I don't even care. I don't use it. I put my badges somewhere else. So I just think that's how the game is made and that's how it was created this year, to be quite honest with you. Because one of the biggest issues a lot of us complained about last year was a lot of bills can't shoot. Remember that. And this is a thing that 2K community always fall victim to. We always complain about something when, but when 2K make that change, we start complaining about that too. We complained about only certain builds being able to shoot and there being a lack of flexibility when it comes to NBA 2K21. We complained about it. And now they made it so most builds could shoot. Even if you're not a great shooter, you won't hit a lot of slightly. So this is something I'm just putting, I'm not bashing nobody. I'm just trying to call a spade a spade at the end of the day. But overall, let me know what y'all think about this tweet. Um, I know a lot of people will agree with this. Well, of course you see, you know, I'm not gonna agree with every single thing and that's just how we go sometimes. Now, this is a teachable moment and we are gonna speak about this, of course. Now, Paul DF actually made this tweet, he said, we took 2K21 for granted. It was not the best game, but those wages every night, a community who cared, I wish I had them back. A legend reward that mattered and a rep grind that felt rewarding. I wish I had those back too. I thought 21 was bad, but 22 is proof it can always get worse. How was my dramatic reading? <laughs> I'm getting better, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. All right, now he did follow that up with saying, and for the record, I'm not one of those people who says this every year, but for the first time ever really miss art. Yeah, he kind of messed this up right here. This wasn't me how I'm reading it. Come on. He said, um, for the first time ever really miss some of the basic features 21 had. They took away what made Park Park. Now, Best Blog replied saying, viewership wise, 2K21 was better and numbers don't lie. However, 2K22's gameplay is definitely better, so I don't know. Pain! He should put hashtag pain. You gotta put hashtag pain. You don't just put one word. But I understand what he's saying. Of course. Now, um, Poor Boy Sin actually responded said, 21 was as reward or not. 22 is a better game. <laughs> All right, season rewards is a W. Two K just dropping the ball on what we gain. Bars, damn. All right, now IQ contain actually had to remind some people and tweet this time. He said, "New Two K players won't understand the pain and frustration of when this popped up." on the top of your screen now when you look there you see center 24 percent covered and centered mean that someone was most likely more often than not probably using a zen <laughs> it weird how right it weird how when we look back at things it always looks so much better than when we're in the middle of things and this is something i learned way back then especially being part in or uh, in the gaming community there are a few things that would always be in every single game that drop number one especially multiplayer online number one the devs not going to respond as fast as you want them to with issues number one number two there'll always be balancing issues always there if you play card they always be overpowered guns 2k overpowered moves there will always be that number three there will always be a lot of exports people just searching for these and putting them out that's part of it that's part of gaming overall so with all of that i understand how it is and i always enjoy the game i play i enjoy 2k21 I know it's hard to believe. I enjoy both 2K21s, current and next gen. I played more next gen, but at late half, because next gen was shutting off my Xbox, I went to current gen and I was having mad fun with the speed boosting, with all the cheese, with the um, with the zents, all of that. 
I still enjoy the game. Because what I learned when it comes to gaming, even with 2K and all games, what matters the most is who you play with. So once you play with the right people, like I play with some people I could talk trash with, talk trash too, make fun of each other. That's fun for me overall. So the experience is not just left on the game. Yes, I do enjoy the games. I do enjoy the gameplay. Don't get me wrong, of course. And I'm pretty good at all 2K that drop. <laughs> but the best thing for me when it comes to gaming is the people I play with. And mostly when you see, I see a lot of people saying, oh, the game is trash. And it's it usually because they run with randoms a lot. They don't play with a lot of their friends or whatever. Or oh, their friends just agree with them and, you know, they push one head. And that's okay at the same time. But for me, I play a bunch of people who like 2K, who understands the game. And just like talking trash. And once we in that group and everything is flying, you know, the pleasant trees both ways, it's just a fun experience, man. But at the end of the day, I do always understand that 2K is not perfect. And when I play the game, that's why I always try to put out video. Yo, 2K, y'all need to address this. Y'all need to fix that. Y'all need to do this. Y'all need to do that. To try to bring a little bit of balance. But at the same time, I understand that <laughs> that's just gaming overall, man. Now, a lot of people want to agree with your boy, but that's just how I approach it every single year. Now, this 2K... I think it's better than 2K21 somewhat in certain areas, but in certain areas, it's not. One of the areas, I like the season reward um, idea, but as Paul Boy said, I think they're dropping the ball on the rewards. Now again, I think their strategy is to hold a bunch of the major rewards to kind of keep people playing beyond season four, because I think a lot of people already start putting out as soon as they hit legend and I'm playing again. And the, the devs got a really good feel on the community, a really good pulse, feel on the pulse of the community. So they understood that, yeah, we can't give them everything too soon. So that's why I think. Now we're gonna see on the next season. Now I know if y'all are gonna still be here. <laughs> Because I think this season turned a lot of people away, but we're going to see what's up, man. But just my thoughts. Um, let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim. You know I'm going to always be 100 with y'all, man. Y'all might not agree, but then y'all always know. Y'all are going to always know where your boy stand, bro. Always stand. And the beauty about this life and this world, you don't have to agree on everything with nobody. But just respect someone's opinion. I would always respect your opinion. Trust me, I might debate, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I respect your. I doesn't. Re I don't respect your stand, All right? So, anyways, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoy the game. Y'all know it is your boy Sim. First time to the channel, like, share, subscribe. If you're not your first time, like and share. You never know who's gonna be informed. Your boy Sim, all the respect. Bless up. Peace. Peace.